This is problem number three from section 2.1. In this problem, they want us to write an equation of the line containing the given point and perpendicular to the given line. Express your answer in the form y equals mx plus b, which this we know is just that slope intercept form. Okay. <clears throat> now, they want us to write a line that's perpendicular. All right, what does it mean to be perpendicular? Well, perpendicular lines lines have negative reciprocal slope. Now, what does that mean? Well, they have negative reciprocal slope because, first off, if you have a line, uh, if you have a line that it has a positive slope, the perpendicular line to that's going to have a negative slope. So that's where the whole negative comes from. Because uh, if one line is uh, going up and to the right, the other line's got to go down and to the right in order for them to actually be perpendicular. But not only that, they have to be 90 degrees. And how do you get something to be 90 degrees there? Well, you're going to uh, take the reciprocal of the slope. So first things first, let's take this equation and let's get it into slope-intercept form. So we know slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. That is not how this is written. But we can get something into slope-intercept form easily by solving for y so it says y equals. Well, that means just move the 5x over. So we're going to rewrite that by subtracting the 5x over. So I'm just going to say minus 5x minus 5x, and I end up with y equals uh, 4 minus 5x, or I can write that as negative 5x plus 4. Okay, now I know my slope for this equation is negative 5, and uh, my y-intercept, b also known as y-intercept, is 4. So all I need to write a perpendicular line is I need this slope, but I need to take the slope and find the negative reciprocal of it. So let's go ahead and do that. So negative recip, if I take the slope uh, negative five, uh, I'm gonna just point, point an arrow here. I'm gonna flip it first of all, so it's uh, negative five over one, uh, this is how you could write this negative 5 over 1. So this is actually uh, 1 fifth when you flip it. But if I'm doing the negative reciprocal, right, so I can write that as negative 1 fifth, that's the reciprocal part, I have to put a negative on it. So this is the reciprocal part. And this is the negative part. And that's going to equal my new slope, which is, if I do negative and negative, that's a positive, I get one-fifth. So notice, this slope is negative five. This slope is the uh, reciprocal, which is one-fifth, but the negative cancels out. So I have a negative slope and then a positive slope. I know that I'm good with, um, and, and then the, the, the five is a reciprocal of one-fifth. I know I'm good, I know I know I, I have a 90 degree angle, and uh, I actually have a perpendicular slope now. So I can go ahead and use uh, slope intercept form or point slope form to do this. Now, because I have a point, 3, 4, and I have a slope, so I'm gonna write that here, my slope, new slope is 1 fifth, and my coordinate is 3 comma 4, so this is my point. I'm probably going to use point slope form to do this and just rewrite it into this. So this is x1, this is y1. I can go ahead and say y minus 4 equals 1 fifth x minus 3. Now I can go ahead and go through and put this into slope intercept form. So let's distribute the 1 fifth and I get y minus 4 equals 1 fifth x minus 3 fifths. 
Now I'm gonna add the four over, so I get y equals one-fifth x minus three-fifths plus four. If I change this into uh, a denominator of five, that would be 20 over five, so I'm gonna get y equals one-fifth x minus three over five plus 20 over five. When I combine those, I get 17 over five. for a y-intercept. So this is the equation that is perpendicular to this other one. Perpendicular and goes through this coordinate.